Okay, so the aileron is pretty much complete. Um, and it seems to work as expected. Okay, so I'm gonna start working on the wing. And the first order of business, I think I'm gonna start with the flap servo. Um, the reason is the servo that I was gonna use for the aileron, uh, these L mounts are not quite the correct ones because um, I chose to go with uh, MKS servo, which is slightly slimmer, but the spacing here is also different. So that spacing between the arms is not quite the standard. So I'm gonna have to figure out something about that. But the flaps. So I think what I'm gonna do with this guy is I have two options. I can either bring the control arm out um, and have that be external, or I can do it in the same way that I did the rudder, which is basically have the control arm be internal. Um, and just, just then doesn't get to be seen at all. So I think I'm leaning more towards doing it internally so that the rod basically um, will go from the top side of the wing because this this is this is the bottom and hitting um, that that uh, flap servo. So we'll see how that works and I think that'll do well because the flap only has to move one direction. Here nothing special. Um, I just use the hardware that AR gives me, they're those rubber bushings, um, and then the inserts. Remember to put Loctite, obviously, uh, because you have aluminum and you have the, the, the bolts or the screws, so metal to metal, Loctite that, so there is Loctite applied in here, and as well as on that side. And this is going to sit here nice and well. I just finagled it really, really nicely into into the slot, and there she is. Into a little bit of a snug here, uh, snag. I'm going to show you what that is. So, here's a cover, um, and as you'll see with the screws provided in the kit, which are those guys, um, and they have this nice flange. Well, even when they're fully inserted, they stick up the surface. Um, just a little bit and so what happens is this cover sits okay on the on the towards the front but towards the back you can see let's see here you can see that it doesn't quite sit flush um, and that's just because these screws just kind of stick up I mean you already have a good amount of uh, bulge from the aluminum so I need to do something about that uh, this guy which is an Irwin high-speed countersink bit so that looks like this let's see there we go and with that I was able to countersink uh, the hole so basically what it looks like now is that and I got myself um, uh, some screws I'm just gonna get some uh, wood screws that have that countersink in them and that way they'll be nice and flush so we'll see how that works so aileron servo is in um, and what I did is I just 3d printed some mounts from uh, Pet G, which is pretty tough material. And these are just stand-ins. Uh, I have the aluminum ones like these on order from DreamWorks. So as soon as they come in, I'm going to swap these guys out. But the whole measurements here are the same as those. So that allows me to keep working on this um, while that stuff ships. So next thing I'll do is obviously put the cover on, um, cut the servo hole out, and then glue the horn, the matching horn um, on the aileron somewhere right here and then the servers for this wing are going to be complete. So, um, I was able to switch out the uh, plastic servo mounts for the aileron so this is this is what I had before and I put in some aluminum mounts. I couldn't find mounts that would fit this servo so I basically got these regular ones and uh, obviously countersank the top and then just drilled and tapped 
the the second hole for this for this server so that the the holes are the right size so that works um, so now I have all metal uh, arms I, I feel much better that way then the next thing is now when it comes to these holes because the server is smaller I had to sort of drill the holes in a little bit of an angle so instead of going straight down they went just a little bit this way because as you can see it's quite it's on the edge so I drill them in at an angle so they go in this way and luckily because I have the countersunk I just countersunk it a little bit more the screws seem like they sit there just fine um, the other thing to note is on the flap servo well the wing is thinner in terms of height in the back than in the front so when you mount a standard servo like I have done here I found that I had to add like a piece of plywood in there to sort of bring that surface up a little bit and then put the servo otherwise you you just deform the wing there's not enough height at the in the back area here to accommodate a full-size servo at least on my model so just a few tidbits um, and that's it so I'm gonna secure this and then we will work on mounting the control rod uh, from this point to the back the flap is done um, so I'll show you uh, what what I come up with when I get to that point see the result of uh, mounting the servo with the countersunk uh, mounting screws looks pretty good and you can almost tell that these are, are an angle so I like that it feels very sturdy and steady in there so that's good it comes with these fiberglass the kind of green clear pieces so I bought G10 from Amazon and cut um, a second piece and glue them together and the reason is I wanted more reinforcement because I wanted to make this hole bigger so it'll fit into uh, if you look at this the hole that I'm using here is a M3 hole and basically the hole that came on top of this was really small so I figured if I'm gonna hollow this out I should make the material double just for better strength so this is gonna go onto here just sort of like that and then um, obviously I gotta line it up so that uh, it comes out as square as possible to here so I'll do that and then I'll come back. I've marked my spot and I'm basically going to use my Dremel with, with this bit to just cut through that. And there's no play in it which is excellent. So again, I got these arms from Amazon and they have an M3 screw and these are just Dubro M3. On this hand as well, Dubro M3 and I just um, put that together and that feels pretty sturdy. Um, I had to use a M3 rod, a thread M3 rod, because the stuff that came in the kit wasn't long enough since I had to put this arm a little bit far back. But um, I added this carbon fiber sleeve so that it doesn't look um, messy. So looks good, I'm happy with the result. And um, basically, this wing is complete.